We also have another definition for law. What is it? Law is determining factor. And thought is a determining factor to experience. If you think successful and prosperous, that is a determining factor to your experience. So then, with greater understanding, let's read again the book of Joshua, the first chapter and the eighth verse. Repeat it after me. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. Now let's stop here for a moment. You see, you should always have your mouth on the right side of the law. <laughs> so repeat after me. I should keep my mouth on the right side of the law. I should keep my mouth on the positive side of the law. I should keep my mouth on the successful, prosperous side of the law. You see, every time you speak positively, you are prophesying positive experiences. Every time you think and speak success, you are prophesying success and prosperity. Hallelujah. And this is the law. This is what? Inevitable tendency. This is a determining factor. Now, this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. That's why, again, the greatest, one of the greatest prayers in the Bible is this, and repeat it after me. Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth, and keep the door of my lips. Another great prayer of the Bible is this, and repeat it after me. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Now, all this week, I want you to have a sense of prophesying. And take this question with you. What am I prophesying for myself? You see, prophesying and looking into the crystal ball are the, are the same thing. What you see yourself with in your mind, you are prophesying that. Ha-ha! <laughs> what I see myself with in my mind, I am prophesying for myself. What I see myself with clearly in my mind, I am prophesying for myself. Let's start again, and I'm being purposely redundant with this verse of Scripture from Joshua, the first chapter, and the eighth verse. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. That thou, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. And then thou shalt have good success. Now, I like the words of this text. You notice it didn't say here that God in the sky is going to make your way prosperous. Who is going to do it? You. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. And then thou shalt have good success. And it's all according to what? Law. 
Ladies and gentlemen, life is according to law. The law of God, the law of good, the law of mind, the law of thought. God is thought. And the law, the Lord is the law by which thought operates. All right? Don't you forget that. So we're going to prophesy success and prosperity for ourselves. Are you ready? Are you ready? I clearly see success and prosperity. This time I want you to uh, put the things, your, your notes into your laps and I want you to hold your crystal, let your crystal ball set in your lap. And hold your hands on either side of your crystal ball. Now, don't tell me you don't know how it's done like Madame Zeus used to do. Come on. But this time you're looking into the crystal ball of your mind. Now, look, look into that crystal ball. Are you looking? And say, I clearly see success and prosperity. With the divine eye of God in me, I clearly see myself progressing from success to success, from prosperity to prosperity. My success and prosperity glorify God and uplift all mankind. Now, are you ready to see money? You can prophesy money into your life. You can see it into your life. You ready? You ready? You ready? And by the way, in this service in just a few minutes, I'm going to do the loose my money prayer and in my meditations the other day, the Spirit uh, gave me a way to turn the loose my money prayer around. Just a slight turn of words. Well, I'll even tell you what it is, and you remind me to do it this way. We, we were saying, loose my money. And the Spirit said to me to say, my money is loosed. <laughs> what did I say? My money is loosed. In the name of Jesus Christ, my money is loosed right now. Thank God. See, that's a prophecy. And I've got news for you. Everybody's always prophesying. Everybody's always prophesying. Your thoughts are your prophets. Put that down. That's good. My thoughts are my prophets. Together. My moods are my prophets. My attitudes are my prophets. My ideas are my prophets. My beliefs are my prophets. And they prophesy my fate and my fortune. Pretty good stuff, isn't it? So you can prophesy your fate and your fortune from your beliefs, from your thoughts, from your moods, from your attitudes, from your ideas. It's just as clear as crystal.